My bad. Okay. We'll call the special meeting of the Plaquemines Parish Council uh, to order at 917. Could we please rise for the prayer? Reverend Giles, will you lead us in a prayer and then we'll st please remain standing for the Good morning, everyone. We will move to item two, introduction and ordinance need to on do resolution. Roll call. We call roll call. I'm sorry, I apologize. Okay. Councilmember Bartholomew. Councilmember Black. Here. Councilmember Lapine. Here. Councilmember Juno. Here. Councilmember Roussel. Here. Councilmember Burt. Here. Councilmember Trufant Salvant. Here. Councilmember Edgecombe. Here. And Councilmember Williams. Here. Let the record reflect all sitting council members are here today. We will now move to item two, introductions of ordinance and resolutions. Mr. Bartholomew? None. Mr. Black? None. Mr. Juno? None. Mr. Russo? None. I have two. Hmm? Three. These three here? Yeah. Okay. A resolution to authorize the signatures of the Parish checking account at Regions Bank and Coastal Zone Management Program titled Plaquemines Parish Wetlands Conservative and Restoration Fund and otherwise to provide with respect thereto. A, re a resolution authorizing representatives of Plaquemines Parish Government to invest funds in Plaquemines Parish Government and otherwise to provide with respect thereto. A, resolu a resolution authorizing signatures for accounts for Plaquemines Parish Government with Regent Banks and otherwise to provide with respect thereto. Mr. Berg? I have none. Ms. Salvant? I have none. Mr. Edgecombe? I have none, sir. Thank you. Ms. Uh, Williams? I have none. Thank you. We'll move to item three, introductions of resolutions where, wherein a suspension is being sought. Three A. A resolution expressing sincere sorrow for the untimely death of Parish President Amos J. Cormier Jr. and calling for a special election to fill the vacancy in the office of Parish President of the Parish of Plaquemines, State of Louisiana, <coughs> and other matters in connection therewith and otherwise provide with respect thereto. There's been a resolution offered under on the suspensions. Um, I'll offer the suspension and ask for a second. Mr. Chairman? Yes, sir. Well, actually, that we get a unanimous second, please. Uh, my colleagues will be a unanimous second. Yes. Joe, there's a unanimous second. <laughs> Ms. Barber, can you read it again? Mr. Mr. Chairman? Yes. Uh, I'd like to. Um, Offer an amendment to the suspension to also include item B. Oh, uh, no, we'll take them separately. Well, I'll offer an amendment. We can vote it down if we'll get a second. The amendment's been offered. Oh, second. second by Ms. Salvant. Ms. Uh, Toops, will you call the roll? Councilmember Bartholomew. What are we voting 
voting on trying to put them together for you. Councilmember Black? No. Councilmember Lapine? No. Councilmember Juno? Yes. Councilmember Roussel? Yes. Councilmember Burt? Yes. Councilmember Trufant Savant? Yes. Councilmember Edgecombe? No. Councilmember Williams? No. So the amendment fails? Yes. Okay. Fails five to four. Four to five, I'm sorry. We'll take the resolution up. A. Ms. Barber, will you read it again? You need to vote on the suspension first. I'm sorry. I'm That's okay. okay. Councilmember Bartholomew on the suspension, suspension only. Suspension on 3A. Yes. Councilmember Black? Yes. Lapine? Yes. Councilmember Juno? Yes. Councilmember Roussel? Yes. Councilmember Burt? Yes. Councilmember Trufant Salvant? Yes. Councilmember Edgecombe? Yes. And Councilmember Williams? Yes. The suspension is granted. Will you read the item 3A now, Ms. Barber? A resolution expressing sincere sorrow for the untimely death of Parish President Amos J. Cormier, Jr., and calling a special election to fill the vacancy in the office of the Parish of, of, Parish President of the Parish of Plaquemines, State of Louisiana, and other matters in connection therewith and otherwise to provide with respect thereto. Whereas Parish President Amos J. Cormier, Jr. died suddenly on June 16, 2016, and whereas President Cormier has been a faithful servant to the people of Plaquemines Parish, and whereas putting all political or policy differences aside, the Plaquemines Parish Council joins the people of Plaquemines Parish in, the mourning, in mourning the loss of Parish President Amos J. Cormier, Jr., and whereas the death of President Cormier creates a vacancy in the office of Parish President of the Parish of Plaquemines Parish, State of Louisiana, and whereas there exists more than one year remaining in the term for which President Cormier was elected to serve, whereas the Home Rule Charter of Plaquemines Parish Section 3.08a provides that there should be called a special election for the purpose of electing someone to complete the term for which President Cormier was elected to serve, and whereas the next available election dates for holding an election to fill the unexpired term for which President Cormier was elected are November 8, 2016 primary election and December 10, 2016 general election, which coincides with the President and U.S. Senatorial elections already scheduled. And whereas the Home Rule Charter of Plaquemines Parish Section 3.08 section provides for the appointment of an interim parish president within 30 days of the occurrence of the vacancy and for such person to serve until the special election can be held and the person elected therein shall take office. And whereas the Home Rule Charter of Plaquemines Parish Section, section 3.06 provides that the powers and duties of the Office of Parish President shall be exercised by the Chairman of the Plaquemines Parish Council until such time as an interim parish president is appointed, and whereas it is the desire of this parish council to call a special election on November 8, 2016 primary election, and December 10, 2016 general election to fill the unexpired term of the Office of Parish President of Plaquemines Parish in light of the death of Parish President Amos J. Cormier, Jr. Now, therefore, be it resolved by the Plaquemines Parish Council that it hereby calls a special election on November 8, 2016 primary election and December 10, 2016 general election to fill the unexpired term of the Office of Parish President of Plaquemines Parish in light of the death of Parish President Amos J. Cormier, Jr. Be it further resolved by the Plaquemines Parish Council that it hereby expresses deep sorrow for the untimely death of Parish President Amos J. Cormier, Jr. Be it further resolved by the Plaquemines Parish Council that a copy of this resolution shall be forwarded to the Secretary of State, the Clerk of Court, the Register of Voters, of Plaquemines Parish, in order that they may take the necessary actions in response to this resolution. Be it further resolved by the Plaquemines Parish Council that the Council Chairman and the Interim Parish President upon appointment and the exercise of the powers and duties of the Office of Parish President be and is authorized and directed to take any and all actions necessary or proper to carry out the intent of this resolution. Be it further resolved by the Plaquemines Parish Council that the Secretary of this Council is hereby authorized and directed to immediately certify and release this resolution and that the parish employees and officials are authorized to carry out the purposes of this resolution, both without further reading and approval by the Plaquemines Parish Council. There's been a, a, 
a resolution granted under suspension. I will offer it. Ask for a second. Second. Second by Mr. Russo. Any questions? Um, I think Mr. Gareth could answer any specific questions. We're under a timeline of Wednesday at 430. Today we'll try to ratify this resolution. <coughs> Mr. Gareth will hand deliver it to the State Bond Commission or Secretary of, State. Oh, Secretary of State as fast as we can and with hopes of being put on the November ballot. Uh, under these times, well, we have to move expeditiously. Uh, so if there's any questions, anybody has thought, can maybe direct them to Mr. Garrett. Anyone? Ms. Toops, will you call the vote? Councilmember Bartholomew. Yes. Councilmember Black. Yes. Councilmember Lapine. Yes. Councilmember Juno. Yes. Councilmember Roussel. Yes. Councilmember Burt. Yes. Councilmember Chufont Salvant. Yes. Councilmember Edgecombe. Yes. And Councilmember Williams. Yes. And the resolution is granted nine to nothing. Nine to zero. Excuse me. We'll move to item three B. A resolution appointing Mr. Edward Terrio to fill the vacancy of the Office of Parish President pursuant to Article 3, Section 3.08 of the Plaquemines Parish Charter for local self-government until such time as a new parish president might be elected and a special election called for that purpose and otherwise provide with respect thereto. There's a suspension for item B. Can I get a, a, sec, a second on the suspension? There's a second on the suspension. Would you call the vote for the suspension, Ms. Toops? Councilmember Bartholomew? Yes. Councilmember Black? Abstain. Councilmember Lapine? Abstain. Councilmember Juno? Yes. Councilmember mm -hmm. Roussel? Yes. Councilmember Burt? Yes. Councilmember Truvant Salvant? Yes. Councilmember Edgecombe? Abstain. Councilmember Williams? Yes. And the uh, suspension is granted six with three abstentions. Would you read the resolution now? A resolution <coughs> appointing Mr. Edward Terrio to fill the vacancy of the Office of Parish President pursuant to the Article 3, Section 3.08 of the Plaquemines Parish Charter for local self-government until such time as a new parish president might be elected in a special election called for that purpose and otherwise provide with respect thereto. Mr. Russo, you offering? I'll offer. Ask for a second. Second. Second by Mr. Juno. Bob, will you read the, the whole thing now? A resolution appointing Mr. Ed Terrio to fill the vacancy of the office of parish president pursuant to Article 3, Section 3.08 of the Plaquemines Parish Charter for local self-government until such time as a new parish president might be elected in a special election, call for that purpose and otherwise provide with respect thereto. Whereas parish president Amos J. Cormier, Jr. did pass away on Thursday, June 16, 2016, leaving the remainder of his term unfilled and his office vacant. And whereas Article 3, Section 3.08 of the Plaquemines Parish Charter for Local Self-Government calls for the appointment of an interim president within 30 days of a vacancy in that office, and whereas Plaquemines Parish Charter for Local Self-Government further calls for the appointment of said interim parish president to be by a vote of the majority of the eligible members of the parish council gathered for that purpose from the pool of parish electors possessing the appropriate qualifications to hold the office of Parish President pursuant to Article 3, Section 3.02 of the Charter. And whereas, after being satisfied that Edward Terrio is a bona fide elector of this parish and that Edward Terrio possesses the qualifications to hold the office of Parish President, now therefore be it resolved by the Plaquemines Parish Council that Edward Terrio, a resident and domiciliary of the Plaquemines Parish residing at, and I don't have his address, is hereby appointed interim parish president until such time as a new parish president might be elected and conf confirmed to that office in a special election. I fill in a blank with 106 Mew Street. 106. <coughs> be it further resolved by the Plaquemines Parish Council that the Secretary of the State of this council is hereby authorized and directed to immediately certify and release this resolution and that parish employees and officials are authorized to carry out the purpose of this resolution both without further reading and approval by the Plaquemines Parish Council. 
Thank you, Ms. Barber. Ms. DeRusso, yeah. I'll offer it with that addition of 106 Mew Street, Bell Chase, Louisiana. Okay. I'll second. And it's been seconded by Mr. Juno. I have a comment, Mr. Chairman. Go ahead, Mr. Black. We open for comments? Huh? We open yeah, for comments? I'm open it for the floor. But <clears throat> I've had this conversation with Mr. Terrio uh, this morning, and I want everybody to be aware that my abstention today has no reflection negatively on Mr. Terrio, um, his service to the community, uh, his dedication uh, as a parish employee, his dedication as a council member uh, years ago, um, as well as his knowledge of the office. And I think Mr. Terrio would do a fine job. I haven't had the time to sit down and speak to Mr. Terrio <clears throat> and get his vision on what he plans to do in the next six months. I haven't had the time to sit down with my constituents either uh, to see if there is another candidate available uh, or willing to perform those duties for those six months. Uh, therefore, I'm going to abstain from this vote, uh, but I want to make it very clear that this has no reflection on Mr. Terrio or the ability to perform those, to perform those duties. That's all I have. Thank you. Anyone from the audience? I'm going to say something. Is the mic on? Uh, uh, first, my condolences to the Carmier family and for the people of Plaquemine Parish that was a loss. Uh, Ed, I think you're going to do a wonderful job. And I hope, I hope that we, that the people watch you guys all the time. I hope we all as a council could come together and move this parish forward. We have some challenging issues. And uh, the bickering, and we got to stop it. we got to talk for one accord and get this. The people are watching, man, and, and they elected you, but we need, they need you to be forward, forward-minded because we have some challenging issues here. Uh, but Ed, congratulations. Uh, I think you'll do a wonderful job, sir. Thank you. Anyone else? Yeah, I mean, with those comments, I would ask for this item to be deferred until Thursday so we can have some more time to, to have some discussion. And if that time, no other candidate comes comes before us. I have no problem voting yes for Mr. Terrier. Um, that's all I would ask uh, is, you know, we've only had a weekend to, to discuss it, uh, and I would like to sit down with Mr. Terrier as well as some of uh, the other council members, I, I would believe. But um, if not, that's fine, uh, but I will be abstaining if we vote today. I would more than likely vote yes on Thursday uh, if we have no other candidates uh, available. Um. It's, it's, it's been a tough, th since Thursday, it's been tough. <clears throat> Mr. Chairman. You, um, there's no handbook, there's no script, no way we can predict what we go on. Um, Mr. Terry, I've been knowing you a long time. And again, I, I want to echo the sentiments of Mr. Black that this is not a knock against you. I think government should move on. Uh, you're an honorable man. Uh, if there's another viable candidate, candidate I'd like to maybe see. Um, but I know government must move on. Uh, this is uncharted waters of Lackamas Parish. So whatever happens today, I will be abstaining, but I will honor whatever this council brings forward. If it's this council's wishes for you to lead, I will stand behind you 110%. Any more questions? I'll call to close. Uh, I'd like would, to, Mr. Chair. I'd like to close. Wait, go ahead. Mr. Uh, I, I do want to echo what Mr. Black and Kirk have said. Uh, I've been known as Ed for in Lions Club when I was president for Sulphur. And I will be abstaining. And there's no disrespect to you, sir. You know, I know you 
you can do the job, but I feel like uh, Mr. Black and Kurt want to sit down and talk with you myself and uh, with some of my colleagues, but uh, Thursday I could probably do a yes vote, but right now I would have to abstain, sir. And like I said, no disrespect to you or the community of this parish. Mr. Chairman. Ms. Um, Salban. Yes, Mr. Therott, I will be voting in the affirmative. Thank I you. I mean, I've known you throughout the, 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 the years, and I think that would be a vote of confidence. You, has the, the, you have the ability to take to lead this parish forward in the times that we, we need an honorable man. We need an honorable man. That was a great loss in Mr. Cormier, but I have all the faith and trust that you are the candidate that the parish need at such time. And there's no other way to explain it other than voting in the affirmative. So with that, sir, I have every confidence that you can lead this parish forward. Thank you. Anyone else? Mr. Russo? Yes, um, these are trying times. It is a point in history of Plaquemines Parish that we've never seen before. We've never had a sitting president pass and have to make these decisions. Now, we have worked with this administration for a year and a half. Mr. Cormier had all the confidence in Mr. Terrio to put him in the position. We voted for him in that position. The continuity of government must move on, and I don't know what would change in two days. I do know that we cannot afford to sit and wait and think about uh, what could or what would or what should be. We should know, and I appreciate, we should know today, after working with this, excuse me, this administration and Mr. Terrio for a year and a half, Mr. Terrio has attended more meetings with Mr. Cormier than anyone that I can imagine. He worked with Mr. Cormier. He knows the direction that we have been in. We have about six months left in this situation. Two of those months are November, December, which most of you know in government with Christmas and Thanksgiving, very little takes place. We have a lot of things to do with the budget to carry on Mr. Cormier's wishes. Mr. Terrio is in a position to do that. So without going into the daily operations, someone would have to come in and learn. And the first thing they would do if they came from outside would be walk up to Mr. Terrio's office and ask him, where are we and what are we doing? So I don't see another candidate under the circumstances that could do anything better, move us forward any quicker than what we are trying to do today. And I appreciate the fact that some have not had the time, but you've had a year and a half. You should know by now whether or not this is the right direction. In my conversation on the streets with constituents, they have told me that they think it is the right move. In fact, they told me that they thought that was going to be the official move, not understanding the charter, not knowing the direction of what to do in a crisis and a tragedy that we are experiencing today. And it's not about waiting a couple of days to learn something. It's about knowing where we've been and trying to get where we're going. And with that, I would like to ask you to vote for Mr. Terrio today. He is an honorable man. He follows in the footsteps of an honorable man. He was respected by an honorable man. And I think out of respect to the honorable man who is no longer with us today, we should allow this to continue until the end of the year. And with that, I'd ask that you vote today and let's move forward. Thank you. Ms. Barber, will you call the vote? Councilmember Bartholomew? Yes. Councilmember Black? Abstention. Councilmember Lapine? Abstention. Councilmember Juno? Yes. Councilmember Roussel? Yes. Councilmember Burt? Yes. Councilmember Trufant Salvant? Yes. Councilmember Edgecombe? Yes. Councilmember Williams? Yes. And the resolution is granted with six yeas and three abstentions. Congratulations, mister. Would you, would, you, would you like to say a few words? <laughs> okay. 
first of all, I want to thank those who, for the vote of confidence. Um, you all all said it. We got uh, real tough challenges ahead of us. Coach, uh, excuse me a minute, I got to get my thoughts back in. Okay. <clears throat> okay. First of all, this is an honor. I appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, we got a lot of uh, challenges ahead of us. Uh, I've worked with Coach, with President Cormier for 17 months. I know his vision. His vision was to restore Plaquemine Parish the way it was, especially on the East Bank and the lower end. I plan to continue that. And I think for the next six months, the best way to do it is to include the council members. And my plan would be anything pertaining to money or decision, I would solicit the input from the council members so that we'd be unified. We wouldn't have to argue about it at a council meeting. We'd be all unified and move this parish forward. I would be open to work with any council member and every council member. I know the problems in your district, and I plan to work against it. And again, I really appreciate your vote of support. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Terrio. Do we, do, do we have to do the oath, Kim? Kim? Huh? <coughs> Give the oath right here. We have, Mr. Terrio, will you stand, please? You want to do it up the front? You can do it in the front with that mic. Kim, come, you, come use this mic. Huh? Mike, put this, put the mic right up here, right here. Come up here, guys. There you go. Get it right in front of them. There you go. You can block us. Ah, Mr. Terrio. I minister to you the oath of office for the parish of Blackmans pursuant to my authority under Title 42 of the Illusion of Relies Statutes of 1950. Repeat after me. I, I, Edward Terrio, Edward Terrio, do solemnly swear, do solemnly swear that I will support the Constitution, that I will support the Constitution and laws of and, the United States, and laws of the United States, and the Constitution and laws of this state, and the Constitution and laws of this state, and perish. And parish that I will faithfully that I will faithfully and impartially discharge and impartially discharge and perform all the duty of <laughs> all the duties incumbent on me a comment on me as president as president according to the best according to the best of my ability of my ability and understanding and understanding so help me God so help me God thank you mr. president <laughs> Thank you. As we congratulate Mr. Terrio, I will um, entertain a motion. If there's no other further comments, I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. Offer. Offered by Mr. Bob Bartholomew. Second by Mr. Burt. Ms. Toops, will you call the roll? Councilmember Bartholomew? Yes. Councilmember Black? Yes. Councilmember Lapine? Yes. Councilmember Juno? Yes. Councilmember Roussel? Yes. Councilmember Burt? Yes. Councilmember Trufant Salvant? Yes. Councilmember Edgecombe? Yes. And Councilmember Williams? Yes. Uh, on a vote of 9 to 0, we are adjourned at 946.